Well, the kindness of strangers can go a long way, and a non-Alaska woman is doing all she can to to lift up her community one small gesture at a time. And we brought News 8 Now's Emily Haugen into the studio and to the desk with us for a story you're going to only see right here on News 8 Now. Yeah. Well, I mean, Ken, on Alaska's Kathleen Jensen, she crochets hearts, and more importantly, she's also mending them. Well, with every stitch, easy. Kathleen yeah. Jensen finds joy. So I make hearts and my husband ties the tags on. Kathleen crochets hearts, hundreds so and me. hundreds of hearts. When I'm the most me, I'm helping other people. That's just who I am. The Onalaska mom hands them out. This is my saying for today. To anyone. Personally? To me, they're yeah. all helpful to me, and hopefully they're helpful to other people too. Hearts are fitting. Have, um, Kathleen has worked to heal her heart for the past nine years. I was suicidal for eight years, all day, every day. That's all I wanted to do was kill myself. It wasn't until last September when she began to feel whole again. My therapist has taught me to think, what can you do? I can do this. I can make hearts. <laughs> Kathleen picked up her hook. Yeah, it could have meant a lot. She wishes someone would have handed her their heart. It could have meant a lot. And, and that's why I'm doing it now, because I, I couldn't for me to get out of bed was sometimes what I could do in a day. Yeah. Kathleen isn't taking on this mission alone. I think I have a little snag on there. The little hearts connect her to Barb Laga. Pull that together. Barb heard Kathleen's story and picked up her own crochet hook. Now if it reaches somebody and it touches somebody and it cheers them up. Both women do their needlework on their own. But every stitch all along is that if we can have just one person ties them together, just one person, then it worked. And I hear stories like that all the time. <laughs> Kathleen's well, sorry, project is mending the hearts of others and her own. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Kathleen started her project in April and she's already handed out thousands of these hearts. So I've got a bag over my care. She's like, look Show and tell. She has so yes. many she's giving them to reporters. I, I know, it's <laughs> not great. So here's one. This one's got a message that says, you are worth it. And they're all different. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that one. One breath at a time. That's great. I know she says that there are like 144 different ones, and she came up with all of them because they're things she wishes that she would have heard when oh, she was wow. at the lowest. Yeah. It's yeah. really neat, that mission, yeah. giving people a purpose. We hear that when our vets come home or when they retire. So mm -hmm. it's so neat that someone found a purpose. Yeah. yeah, and they're using it to do such good things. Well, and just normalizing the discussion about mental, mental health and, yeah. and being yeah, so forward with, with what she went through and being willing yeah. to share that. It's, well, it's very I powerful agree. stuff. Yeah, that was great. Great to meet her. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Emily. Now, if you're interested in helping Kathleen with the project, either crocheting or spreading hearts, she's always looking for volunteers. So we're going to post a link to her website on news8000.com. All right, and such a good, well-done story. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Emily.